Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to be hopping into the second film of Christopher Nolan's Batman, The Dark Knight. Now, I know a lot of y'all really love this, and for a good reason. Um, I, the performances, the evolution of just the action alone, just the set pieces, and the grand scale of events here are just you know dialed to a hundred but um you know what i would like to you know ask you guys because for me it's been a minute since i've watched this film like i haven't watched these films in a very long time similar to our first film of you know batman batman begins so there are things that obviously i know this is a rewatching. by the way just in case you guys don't know this is a rewatching. so there are things that i obviously do remember however i don't I can't I can't like piece together what exactly happens in this film so what I'm interested in and something that I'm gonna be asking myself and hopefully that you guys can ask yourself as well too throughout this experience is, is how does the story hold up compared to the first film you know um, I feel as though like you know this film and just seeing how the comments were a lot of y'all said that Batman Begins is low-key your favorite primarily because of the story um, a lot of y'all said this was your favorite because you feel like it's a combination of great story and great acting whereas the last film with um, Tom Hardy as Bane is just a lot of great you know just action and the story is a little lacking so I'm curious is all I'm saying. I'm not stating or, you know, necessarily saying which is better and which is worse. I'm just curious as to how y'all feel about the second film when, you know, stacked up against the first film, you know, Batman Begins. Because, you know, now I'm noticing that a lot of y'all really, really, really enjoyed the first film for really good reason. So I'm just interested in seeing how those hold up here because all the stakes are just gonna be higher, but also, because we have probably one of the greater performances of this entire decade, dare I say century even. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I'm wondering how this is going to be broken down, but more importantly, I'm excited to just, you know, be along for this journey and just, you know, hop back into Batman. So I appreciate you guys just for supporting the channel. Like I said, the best way to support the channel is through Patreon. So if you haven't already, you can. Um, you can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, guys, you don't have to do any of that. I'm just super appreciative that you guys can rock with us right here in this community. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop right into the Dark Knight. But yeah, I would like to go over primarily what I am, you know, going to be questioning, especially in this film, is how is the story? You know, I'm going to try my best not to get too allured by the incredible acting of this film <laughs> but you know i'm gonna really see how the themes hold up and how the metamorphosis and the transformation of bruce wayne as a character and his entity as the batman his element kind of grow and how they get challenged i'm also here to have a really great time so <laughs> That's one cool way to freaking open up, man. I do remember this. Hell yeah, this this is a great opening. I think this is one of the better openings in cinema. It's incredible how a different modernization or a different approach to not even just Batman, but just the characters within Batman can just be so molded because I truly feel the terror within this Batman or within this Joker like unhinged chaos on the ground. Stay on the ground. there are some really neat matching cuts here it's hard to see because you know there are two different shots but the positioning and movement of the camera are the same so it really helps the flow of this because it's all about the flow of this. Like, what is this building up to? How are we going to get introduced to the Joker? Kill you simply makes you a stranger. I love it. I love it. Love that musical cue hitting. 
anybody that he's out there. Why wouldn't he come? Hopefully. Because he's busy. Oh man. Yeah, chills. I gotta I gotta ask, which which film soundtrack is your favorite? I'm not sure or I don't really remember what the third film's score is about and how it feels, but damn, this one here bumps. Mitchy, there's only one of you. <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't isn't this where like you got people who are like <laughs> acting as him? It's pretty realistic, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Built different, man. Built freaking different. Not my diagnosis. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> that was Bruce Wayne right there. That wasn't even Batman. <laughs> he said that personally. Oh, yeah. Now I'm piecing it together. Just from that frame alone of Bruce not being in bed. You know, waiting for Alfred to serve him some good old breakfast. Is maybe consuming or consumption. I feel like in this film, doesn't isn't it hard for Bruce to stop being the Batman, he's consuming, it's consuming his identity. I feel like that's similar to the Joker too. Consuming with chaos, you know, the lack of control. Look at the new district attorney. I am closely. Need to know if Wow, yeah. How about that? I completely forgot that there's a whole segment with that. As I recall, I got me my first date with you. I wouldn't leave something like that up to chance. I don't. Man, look at this dude at the beginning of the film. And then just, it's good. It's going to be crazy seeing him at the end of it. My goodness. <laughs> Order. Permission to treat the witnesses hostile. Granted. Hostile? I see you hostile. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, built different. There are people in this film that are just simply built different on this. I love it. Malfunctioning equipment. I suggest you take them up with maintenance counselor. <laughs> I put every. I also want to let you know one of those people who are built different is Gordon. Okay, I haven't forgotten about Gordon. So let's put a couple tables together. I'm not sure that they'll <laughs> let us. Oh, they should. I own the place. Built different, bro. What? <laughs> Yo, he really said that. I forgot. <laughs> you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Look. Yo, I, man, that quote rings, man. Echoes, echoes. What the hell is this? Yeah, we got some powerhouse of scenes here. Like I said, it's gonna be hard for me to like, you know, attend to the story and the natural progression of it. Because there are just moment after moment after moment of powerhouse scenes. Damn. <laughs> this dude is hilarious, man. Damn, he is chaotic as hell. I'm going to make this pencil disappear. Wow. Wow, man. Put the pencil in his brain. Half. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that. Whew. It's hard, man. This thing is alluring, bruh. He is perfect. You know what's interesting? I, I don't believe that the Joker takes his outfit off. I don't believe it. I know that Batman does. I know that 
you know, other villains, they kind of like have the on and off, but Joker is just always on. Miles halfway to Hong Kong. He is always on, dog. I could have taken him. South Korean smugglers. They run flights into Pyongyang, below radar the whole way. Did you think of an alibi? Oh, yes. And this is one of the reasons why I think this is the strongest Batman. Like, he has not only, again, his, his just regular homie, you got Alfred, but he has Mr. Fox as well. It's to me, and he says, why so serious? Mm. He comes at me with the... Oh, there's that crazy movement with his tongue. I feel like this film does a lot of callbacks to the one with uh, Jack Nicholson. Because this film is just as much as the Joker's as it is Batman. And that's similar to the one with Jack Nicholson. I said the similar thing. Golly, that is so cool, man. I forgot he did this. This is incredible. And I love how he has a different suit involved as well. Strongest Batman. <laughs> Hashtag strongest Batman. <laughs> Yo, this is Batman as hell, man. <laughs> Damn. My man extended his arms fully. Dude, this dude jumped off a skyscraper, did a tuck and roll through a freaking window, and just started engaging. Incredible. <laughs> what an incredible sequence that was. That's men. I'm not aware of any participation by the Batman. Uh, See what I'm saying? Gordon is built different as well. He just strolled up in there. <laughs> Criminals are back on the streets, followed swiftly by you and me. Hey, yo. <laughs> damn. Damn. All right. That makes sense as to why the Joker card was in that trial scene. Because I was like, I don't know why it's there. That explains it. No. 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 <laughs> then why do you dress up like him? <laughs> He's like, look at you, man. You over here playing Halloween. There's some real freaks out here, fam. <laughs> Built different energy, bro. It's crazy. And every day he doesn't, people will die. Starting tonight. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Jeez, man. Ah, oh, man. He just literally announced war. On the Batman, which basically means on Gotham. Optimistic. Look at this face. This is the face of Gotham's bright future to Harvey Dent. Mm. Wow, I did not notice that last time. Wow, what a subtle, a subtle little tick to have right there. Foreshadow. Man. He said, look at this face. This is the face of Gotham. Damn. Time to go. Them gunning for you makes you see things clearly. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it makes you think about things you couldn't stand losing. I gotta say, in this film, I I, I gotta uh, I gotta admit, I love that we are getting the sense of danger within Gotham. Like we're not seeing Gotham as much as in the first film. We're not getting like the overall aesthetic of Gotham. Actually, it looks quite different, but the feeling of Gotham being this cage of chaos. That desperately needs controlling. It's forever present in this film. I feel like it's even more here. It's like the feeling of its underbelly. And that's reflected in the editing of this entire sequence. Damn, dog. Oh my goodness, bruh. They've come for it. We made it. Unpredictable nature, man. Unpredictable nature of chaos. Tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. <laughs> Yo, the way he eats that is hilarious, man. He's... 
Like it was hot as hell. <laughs> Ate a whole toast of strudel. You must be Harvey's squeeze. Huh? And you are beautiful. Damn, this soundtrack, it is unraveling. This feels like it's unraveling. I love it. Damn. The camera movement as well. This entire just motion, it flows so damn well. Look at me. So I had a wife. She was beautiful. Like you. He's always like, look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> it's like, dude, get out of my face, bro. <laughs> Little fight you. I like that. Then you're gonna love me. Woo! Oh man! <laughs> then you're gonna love me. <laughs> just came over and just clobbered him. You crossed the line first, so you squeezed them, you hammered them to the point of desperation. And in their desperation, they turned to a man they didn't fully understand. I think what he's asking is, where did this guy come from? I think it's deeper than obviously all of the you know, the money. It's not the money. You know, it's the same reason why Batman came into existence. It's not just for the good. It's a deeper sense of justice. So I love how the Joker is a complete opposite, but just as much of a force of nature to will that into existence as the Batman. They're both elements. Oh, because he thought it was good sport. Because some men aren't looking for anything logical like money. They can't be bull, bullied. Oh, there you go. Yep, I remember this line. They want to set the world on fire. Just want to watch the world burn. Yep. Yep. That describes the Joker perfectly. It's so great that I'm able to watch this again, and I'm, I'm kind of able to say the things that they're about to say beforehand. <laughs> it just makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> it lets me know that, okay, cool. I'm reading this for... All of its layers properly. Department burning through cash, claiming uh, it's related to cell phones for the army. Oh my God, there what was are you this building dude. for him now? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fox is like, bro, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness, man. Oh, tension. Is just littered throughout here. I love when this dude just like gets in that pose where he's just like on a ledge and he's crouched like that, posted up. Underrated. I don't hear a lot of people talking about that. Endure, Master Wayne. Mm. Take it. They'll hate you for it. But that's the point of Batman. Wow. Alfred is incredible, bruh. <laughs> he is seriously incredible. I could listen to Alfred's motivational videos and speeches in war. <laughs> so Bring him take forward. the Batman into custody. I am the Batman. Mm. Damn, Harvey Dent, the size of those kahunas, man. What the heck? Hey, you wait like everybody else, pal. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Jesus, that was that was crazy. It's out of here. Let's go. Listen, we need backup. We got company. We got trouble, guys. I gotta say, I love that chase scenes, like car chase scenes are such a staple <laughs> for Batman films. Or just anything with Batman. There's always an epic car chase scene. <laughs> De Yo! <laughs> I, I did not know he did this. I don't remember him using the car to freaking end one in the air to block the freaking RPG. That is awesome, man. Goodbye. Oh, man. <laughs> that is epic, man. That is epic. I wonder if 
the Joker has any military experience because he's extremely on top of things. I feel like even though he's chaotic, he has some sense of training involved. That is awesome. <laughs> that is cool. I love how the engines were sounding in that. And then it just yanks that thing. It's like, bing! Woo! So damn cool, bro. <laughs> Yo, what the heck, man? This sauce level is over a million. Let's go. I got you, you son of a bitch. I knew I was remembering co uh, correctly. I just didn't want to say something wrong. But I was like, I could have sworn Gordon was still alive. Harvey didn't ever made it home. Of course not. Hmm? I was right here. <laughs> this dude is, he's not even just the biggest troll. He's just the troll. He is the troll. <laughs> Yo, that is for this, this entire scene is just music. It's just beauty in motion. Value. Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, 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 no. You, you complete me. Mm, it, se it almost seems like he, because of his extreme force of nature on Gotham, it just made him achieve it, enlightenment in his own way, and that's just the unfortunate real reality of things like that. Is that a Damn, man. That was a really good explosion, too. <laughs> I saw the point of origin, and that was good. <laughs> Whoever rigged that one up did a pretty excellent job. It's all right. Listen. Wow. Some oh, my goodness, man. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, the Joker effed up things for real. Oh, man. And you know what? I, to answer my question so far that I asked myself in the beginning, do the moments distract from the overall story progression of Batman, of Bruce Wayne, the challenges? Yeah, I, I think so. I think these are not just epic moments but these are these are moments that are justified simply because of the joker's method his reasonings how far he'd go and the stakes that this film is willing to take they killed they killed her they killed rachel and gave harvey dent his origin as two-face and the film isn't even over yet in the forest in burma did you catch him we burned the forest down. Wow. What a great way to segment. He said, did you catch the guy? He said, yep. How? We had to burn the entire forest down. At what lengths are we willing to go to stop chaos? And until when do we realize that we are also part of that chaos as well? God. No. no, you're not. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> Dude. The effects on that is insane. That is insane. Shout out to all the VFX artists who worked on that part. Damn. That looks really damn good. <laughs> like, even his muscles were flexing. That's insanity. Give someone else a chance. If Coleman Reese isn't dead in 60 minutes. Then I blow up a hospital. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my God. He's just, he's trying to make a statement. He's like, every single last one of y'all aren't who y'all think you are. I know you guys because I can bring out your final moments. 
And that's where you'll truly be. Or that's who you'll truly be. A little anarchy. Upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. Ooh. That music. That music is just haunting. It's 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 weird. It's enchanting. Because if you listen to him, there's sense there. But the thing is there's no sense. It's nonsense. <laughs> That's so cool, man. That is so cool. But damn, they really they really built this thing just to blow it up. That is awesome. Then again, Christopher Nolan, he drove a fucking plane, a massive plane into a building. So, you know. Get up with a joke, huh? He killed your woman. He made you like this. The Joker's just a mad dog. Mm, I think it's crazy that his one eye uh, can blink and the other one just stays open because it doesn't have the the eyelid. Who, who are you to decide? Uh, we ought to talk this over at least. We will all have to die. Those men had their chance. We are not. Oh man, dude, the Joker is I mean, he implemented the greatest trial. <laughs> He's like the judge. And he basically is like this this whole scene is a giant trial. For justice and madness, really. We need to get these folks in quick. Come on. I'm happy that this film brings forth everyone. Everyone is involved. Usually it's just the main players, but everyone is involved. I'm Leon Beta. It's like clowns and hostages on two floors. Yep, it's that it's that Arkham game right there. <laughs> this is that Arkham game. This is video gameplay right here. Yeah, he has to keep going, keep going, over and over and over, not stop. I love that he's just being constantly tested. Drill. Where's the detonator? I love that the that the Joker has the dogs with him. Not only is it because it's funny that he has to been he has to fight these dogs <laughs> again, but the Joker's whole thing is about the lack of control. But here he is, still trying to maintain control in that in the form of like you know him and the dogs, but also for you know later on in the film. That at the end of the day, I think he's just, he doesn't like to lose. I think he hates the fact that he's just like everyone else. Hmm. Hmm. Just eats it out the window. Yep, he's like, you should have done that 10 minutes ago, fam. I love that. Because it kind of plays along with the unpredictable nature. This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets... An immovable object. Love that the camera is doing right here. Incorruptible, aren't you? It's almost as if he's putting him in the position to where he's like face to face, even though they're upside down. Of self righteousness. And I they're the same, but the laws of reality affect them differently. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yep, the Joker is just on a whole level, man. On a whole level. My man can just infiltrate people's entire identity and just nuke it. It's crazy. Oh my God. Mm. No. Please, please, please. It's crazy. This is PG-13. I feel like the the material in this is just is 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 deep is deep oh man not that i wanted it to be rated r by the way 
<laughs> but this has the potential of being rated R just from the 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 the, the thought that are in this film it's crazy it's so dark and it's challenging i'm about to tell your boy it's gonna be all right Gordon. lie like i lie damn you guys see what i'm saying this is <laughs> this is complex bro this is pain trauma <laughs> Never before have I felt the urge for Batman to win. And this is crazy because, like, we just experienced him and the Joker. I killed those people. That's what I can be. No, no, you can't. You're not. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. Putting it all on his back. Jeez. Music, too. Getting chills. You didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Because it's the hero Gotham deserves. But not the one. I'm getting chills, man. I'm getting absolute chills. <laughs> this is crazy. A watchful protector. A dark night. Woo! All right, everybody. And that is the end to the dark night. All right, everybody. We just got done the dark night. To kind of answer my question that I asked myself and also to you guys. But I'm just going to answer the question for myself uh you guys can answer it below in the comments does this film feel like a evolution in what we've experienced with batman begins you know the transformation of identity the acknowledgement of you know who bruce wayne is and what batman is and just just does this film feel like a true sequel to batman begins and it's not just a bunch of performances and you know sprinkles and all of that good stuff um no it's not that it is not that it's 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 definitely a true um progression from the previous film it's a brilliant sequel now that i've seen it again uh, especially from seeing batman begins last week and seeing how the themes of what makes bruce wayne and batman just become annihilated and and, and challenged and bent and stretched to its ends it's always something that i, I really have to give kudos to you know this film's approach because they didn't have to make it this they didn't have to make it go to these lengths they really didn't i feel like just off of what they were able to achieve with the previous film they could have done a safer approach and they would have still had a brilliant sequel on their hands but I feel like this film is now remembered and it enters the, the status of legendary, obviously because of the performances, obviously because of the acting and the, you know, the explosions and the set designs and the set destructions and, you know, the brilliant writing, all of that. But again, I do have to commend it simply because it took that chance to really push itself and to test out the, 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 the ideologies and of not even just Batman, of Gotham and its people, of of, of Harvey Dent, of Gordon, of uh, of, of who else? Uh, the Joker. You know, there's so many ideologies at play here, and I feel like there's a giant circle that's happening here. And to see it just rightfully capture the the meaning of the dark knight you know the title of this film and i think it's also really cool that the second film is just a different title to begin with but i feel like again so much intention was put into this film so much understanding of the character was put into this film and when you see the dark knight when you when you see the title when you see the words of the title and then hear them echoing in the end after commissioner gordon is saying what the dark knight represents i feel like this there's there's an overwhelming emotion that's involved and this is why i'm saying that i'm just answering my question because you guys can feel completely different but 
there's a overwhelming sense of 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 just emotion you know you just experience something that you can chew on and that you'll think over and that you can dissect for years and years and years and that's exactly what's been happening this film came out in 2008 we are now in 2022 and you know how many of y'all go back to see clips from the dark knight and batman begins and probably the next film you know how many of y'all go back you know, especially as aspiring filmmakers to study, you know, scenes from this film. And it's hilarious because this isn't a film that calls forth for that. You know, it's not like a Amadeus, right? It's not like a, um, a Barry Lyndon type film where you have, you know, just, just on a technical level, all these aspects and all of this. But it, it's a comic book film is what I'm saying. It's a comic book film it came from a comic book character and the fact that it's even able to tap within the echelons of this of greatness that i'll compare to amadeus and barry linden and all you know uh clockwork orange when it comes to thematics and themes and you know challenging human perspectives not just within the film but towards the audience the dark knight is up there and i gotta say for it to be able to do that I think it's worthy of being a damn legendary film. So please let me know down below for all the people who stick around for these parts. Um, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> but again, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? I would love to hear your thoughts regardless. I'm just happy that you're here. So like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated. Happy Halloween. We're going to be entering a great month here. I love y'all because we... We're just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches, cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.